So here we have the Ford Fiesta Z-Tech on a 14 plate. I'm going to show you around the outside of the car first of all and then we'll hop in and I'll run through a few controls on the inside. But as you'll see from the outside, it's a five-door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then we can work our way around the rest of the car from there. Back of the car, you'll see we've got a 60-40 split folding rear seat and plenty of boot space as well. So we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car now and then I'll hop in and run through some controls. But now that we've done a full circuit of the car, you can see it's uh, in lovely condition the whole way around. Just before I climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the condition of the seats there basically as good as new really really great condition there's plenty to run through on the dashboard so let's hop in and we'll do that now so we're going to start with the dials on the left hand side we've got the rev counter and on the right hand side the speedometer you can see the fuel gauge appears in the middle at the bottom and then above that the total miles on this car which are 15,225 you can change that information using the button on the end of the indicator stalk for various other bits of fuel economy info as you can see we back out to the steering wheel. On the left-hand side, we've got stereo controls as well as voice activation for the phone. So once you pair a phone, hit that button, ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list and it will do that for you. The phone itself is paired using the stereo and screen in the center here. Now, before we come back to the uh, phone, you can see this car's got AM radio. If you press the radio button on the main stereo, you can see that it also has FM and then all the way back around to the beginning at AM. There are a few other ways of listening to music. This car's got a CD player. Uh, it's got auxiliary input and USB input. All of those are accessed by pressing the auxiliary button. So you see you've got USB there. And if you connect up an auxiliary device, it will also show auxiliary device on that listing. Uh, working our way down, we've got the CD player and then the buttons I was pushing a moment ago on the left-hand side here. And then beneath that, the air conditioning. So the fan speed is adjustable here. Temperature over this side. Then the direction of the air in the middle press that button to turn the air conditioning on or back off again and this car's got a heated front screen as well uh, you've got this button here so this car's got uh, or is fitted with stop and start that means that the car will cut out in traffic to save you fuel uh, pushing that button turns the system off should you rather or rather not use it you then have a five-speed manual gearbox and directly beneath that a 12 volt charging socket the auxiliary and USB input that I mentioned previously so all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.